Hey guys, I am back after a week of a long, long busy time. Um, I just graduated, that was my last video, and I've been going to grad parties, been cleaning my rooms, getting rid of all my high school stuff, and storing everything, and just super, super, super busy. So I am back, and on this video, I am doing 15 period hacks to make your period easier and to help you transition to your period if you're just starting. Um, yes, this is about, this whole video is about periods, so if you're a boy... Warning, the following video contains period verbiage. Viewer discretion is advised. If you don't want to listen to a video about periods, then probably want to leave, but if you are a girl and you're interested in your period, uh, stay so you can hear what I have to say. Uh, my name is Jade, welcome to my channel. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, and yeah, subscribe to my channel, make sure you like this video, and well, let's go! So the first hack that I have for you is to sleep on a book. <laughs> I know this sounds very, very strange, like why do you want me to sleep on my book when I'm on my period? But let me tell you, this is heaven. Especially like a long, a flat book like this one. It is spectacular. If you lay on your stomach, on the book, and of course have a towel over the book just in case if you're really heavy and you bleed out, but if you lay on a book when you sleep, trust me, the cramps, you do not feel them, they go away. You sleep instantly and it's just amazing. The next thing that works for me, I don't know if it's going to work for everybody, but it's to eat bananas. Yes, bananas. Um, during school days when I used to go to high school, I used to eat bananas every morning when I was on my period and it helps with cramps and it helps with bloating. I don't know like if it's potassium or whatever, but whatever is in bananas, it helps really well. Like I said, it depends on you and your body because everyone reacts differently to foods and stuff. but. Definitely try banana. If you didn't try that for your period, it may work for you. Alright, my third hack is to take medication. So whether it be Advil, Motrin, Midol, or if you have severe cramps, ibuprofen. Trust me, pills really help with your period, especially if you have like painkillers because I know how atrocious cramps can be. And The next thing, I think this is hack number four, this is awesome too, and it's to use a heating pad. Um, I stole this one from my mom because I did. <laughs> so I use this heating pad every time I'm on my period. You can use like an electric blanket if you have one. If you don't have a heating pad, you can take like one of those um, things that you warm up or you can, uh, those like hand things that you warm up and put them like on your stomach. Uh, you can take a rice and put it in a sock and put it in the microwave and warm that up. That works too, but anything with heat to keep you warm, it definitely helps, especially on your problem area where you're having your cramps and it gets rid of your cramps and it just melts it out so it's not as painful. The next thing is to have a period app and I have one, and it is called, hold on, let me find this app, it's called Monthly Cycles, and it's a period tracker, and basically it tells you when, you can put in your period, and it usually tells you like how long it lasts, and then it tells you when your next period is, so mine is in 14 days, so it just gives you reminders. Um, you can put in diary stuff, like how you're feeling, your symptoms, if you took pills that day, and it's very helpful, and I think it's very important to have a track of your period. The next one is to have a container next to your toilet. So again, so you're not getting up or you know, you sit down and you look and you're like, man, I started, but I don't have anything next to me. So have a container full of stuff like tampons, pads, underwear if you need it. So it's just handy to have on your toilet just in case if you do start, it's there and you have your supplies so you don't have to get all weird and try to get up and get your stuff. Alright, hack number seven is to have a container to hold your stuff in, whether it be a purse or like a little bag or something, but to hold your tampons, pads, 
Um, when I went to school, I had a bag, like a Ziploc bag. I had a new player of underwear. I had tampons, um, pads, everything, like a whole bunch of different sizes and everything because you never know when you're going to start or how it's going to be. Because for me, the longest time I was a regular, so I never knew when it was going to start or how heavy or how little it was. So definitely have options. And um, especially if your friends start and they have nothing and they're like, SOS, I need help. Send some help. I need supplies. You're like, I got you. Let me get my kit. I got you. So, I mean, <laughs> it's good. This next one, honestly, I think this is a lifesaver. I started using this and trust me, it works and it helps a lot. Um, and it's old red rags. So I had like 15 red rags in my closet that no one used and I kind of just stole all of them and put them in my drawer that I have like all my other supplies in. And you use these when you get out of the shower so you don't mess up your towels. You have red rags to use, you know, to wipe down yourself after you get out of the shower and you just reuse them. So it's just your, your stuff that you're using and you wash it and then you use it again, but it's perfect for drying off especially when you're on your period so again you don't mess up your towels and you have designated stuff to use. The next hack kind of goes with the last one and it's flushable wipes. These things will save your life as well. Um, you always want to clean yourself especially like anytime but when you're on your period especially you want to make sure everything is clean. So wet wipes really help and they just make sure everything is clean down there so you're good. Um, the next life hack is for people who break out on their period. A lot of people break out on the period, I know for a fact. So if you are breaking out, just make sure that you're using your moisturizers and your face washes and everything to make sure that your face is keeping track. Tip number 11. This is when these babies come in, your granny panties. <laughs> So when you're on your period and you have like expensive underwear from like Victoria's Secret or very expensive underwear from other places, you want some granny panties when you're on period because that way you can use those, if they get dirty, you don't care, you can throw them away or can you reuse them, it doesn't matter, but you are saving your nice underwear and they will thank you later. So just wear granny panties. Uh, the next one is to not go to bed with your hair wet. I didn't really try this, but my sister did, and she said if you go to bed with your hair wet, then you tend to get cold and then your cramps really start to come. So make sure you go to bed with your hair dry so you are fine and you don't have cramps in the middle of the night. Alright, the next hack is to make sure that you have a friend on board with you when you're at school. So I know a lot of times, like I said, I was a regular, so I didn't know when I was going to start. So I had like feelings of cramps. So I would go to the bathroom and I would text my friend before I went. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom to check if I started my period. If I did, can you bring me some stuff for my backpack? And it was awesome because <laughs> I remember I went to the bathroom and I texted her and I was like, help, I need stuff, hurry, please. And she's like running down the hallway and everyone's asking her why she's running. She's like, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> So I mean, it's fun to have a friend, especially when you start and you don't have anything with you and you don't know what to do. Make sure a friend knows so they can bring you your stuff and then you're good to go. The next hack is to try to drink less sugary things and eat less sugary things. I know sometimes when you're on your period, a lot of the stigma is to eat chocolate and you don't care because you're on your period, but that that can help some people, but that will break you out. So my tip is just to stay away from those kind of drinks, drink lots of water, because that will keep you hydrated, and just uh, stay away from that stuff for that week or how long you are on your period. All right, and then the last hack is to sleep on a towel. Make sure it's a dark towel. Like again, if you are having leakage and stuff, that it's covered and then you can throw this away or reuse it or whatever but just make sure you have a towel when you sleep and just make sure it just makes it uh i can't talk it makes everything smooth in the middle of the night and it's just awesome to have just in case 
if you do leak out, you your bed is safe. So just save with a towel. And yeah, that's all of my hacks for you guys. Alrighty, so that was the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really liked making this video because I know a lot of people don't like to talk about their periods, but I think it's important because every girl for the most part has their period eventually. So it's definitely good to know some hacks and stuff to make your period easier. So if you like this video, make sure to like and definitely subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye. In today's video, I am celebrating my graduation. So today is Wednesday and yesterday I graduated from my high school.